What game? And then in 1962, baseball was back at the Polo Grounds. The National League had expanded, and the dear young Mets made the old Polo Grounds their home. So once again, the crowds were flocking out of the subways and into the Polo Grounds. The one and only Casey Stengel serenaded everyone with musical praise of his amazing Mets. Fans came out to see their old heroes, Duke Snyder and Gil Hodges. These new polo ground rulers were a rare group, so they became known as the new breed. Win or lose, it didn't matter to the new breed. They just loved the Mets. It was said of the new breed that they swooned at the drop of a punch and even enjoyed strikeouts. The second honeymoon lasted two years. The last season, Casey Stengel walked off the Polo Grounds diamond for good. The Mets were turning their backs on Manhattan, moving across two rivers to the borough of Queens, site of a new and modern ballpark, Shea Stadium. It was a sad move, even for Bill Shea. City fathers have done me a great honor in naming the new stadium for me, but the coming down of the Polo Grounds is something that cannot be replaced. The tradition, the character of the Polo Grounds has been built through great triumphs and utter despair. It will take years at the new stadium for us to acquire this accomplishment, and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do it in a hurry to get back to have something to replace the Polo Grounds. 